In this video, I'm going to be fragging a nice red Maxi Mini Anemone. These are pretty cool rare ones. They're also called the Bally Blood Red Anemone, which is more of what it is, but the layman's term I guess they're going with is Red Maxi Mini. Um, you want to start off with a clean fragging surface to make sure you don't have anything that might get an infection on the anemone or that might stress it out unnecessarily. And your tools for success is basically just going to be a nice sharp razor blade. So it's pretty simple. We're just going to put the anemone down. And when you cut it, you want to make sure that you're going straight through the mouth. Now this one actually looks small, but it's been, you know, handled and taken out of the tank. So it's usually about three or four times this size. So we have the mouth right here through the middle. We're just going to cleanly sort of seesaw back and forth. And now we end up with two little pieces. You can, if you'd like, cut these in half again. You've got a pretty good survival rate there, but I've had it be problematic. I've ended up with two pieces at the end, because two other ones died. Or you end up with um, just pieces that are so small that it takes them forever to get to an area where you can grow them um, and sell them again. So we're going to put them in water quickly, because otherwise they get a little more stressed out. Once you put them back in the tank, you want to make sure you put them in an area that gets water movement or an infection will set in within a couple of hours and they're just not going to make it through the night. Personally, I use this fish holder that kind of floats at the top of the tank with a little bit of rubble rock in there. I put about a quarter inch of rubble rock at the bottom so they have something to attach to. Um, I also sink it about a quarter inch into the tank. I clip it on so that some water movement can go over the top, but they can't get out. So the important thing is to make sure that you've got some kind of covered opening so they don't float away. From uh, personal experience, I have about a half a dozen of these things roaming through my tank that I'm probably never going to get out. So, you know, be aware of that because it kind of sucks fragging them and fragging them and never being able to sell one or grow them out because they're all over the tank. So at the end, you just want to wash off your razor so that you can end up reusing it. I've had this one for about, God knows, a year of fragging these things. And then you're good to go. Hope this helps.